Green energy developer Hydro Pacific says it's shelved millions of dollars worth of investment across Australia because of uncertainty over the future of the renewable energy target. The RET is designed to ensure that 20% of the nation's electricity comes from renewable sources by 2020. It's being reviewed by the federal government, but Pacific Hydro says the review is taking too long and is putting Australia's renewable energy sector at risk. Celise Gibson reports. Pacific Hydro received planning approval late last year to build a 42 turbine wind farm at Cainton, an hour and a half northwest of Adelaide. Executive Manager Andrew Richards says it's a significant investment in the region. It will be about a $240 million project, uh, of which many millions of dollars will go into the regional community by way of uh, construction jobs, uh, operation and maintenance jobs, and uh, landholder leases, and also our sustainable community fund. But Pacific Hydro has put the project on hold, along with seven other wind, solar and geothermal projects across the country. And Mr Richards says his company isn't alone. There's not a lot of investment appetite to look at new projects because there's a substantial review of the renewable energy target underway as we speak. So no one can really invest in that kind of climate. No one wants to... Uh, write contracts for, for revenue for the energy produced from these renewable energy projects. Uh, no banks want to look at financing at the moment because of the regulatory uncertainties. South Australia's Premier Jay Weatherill agrees. He says it had anticipated $4.5 billion worth of investment in clean energy projects in South Australia by 2025, but that may no longer be the case. If you actually have companies that are making investments that have returns calculated over decades and decades and you're talking about pulling the rug from out underneath them. It obviously means that uh, companies get very concerned about investing not only in the renewable energy sector but in any part of your economy because they're worried about the sovereign risk associated with investing in a country that's prepared to change its rules and regulations underneath business. So what would you like to see the federal government do from this point forwards? We want them to have a, a clear commitment to renewable energy in Australia uh, so that these investments that are in the pipeline can go ahead. The federal government launched a review of the target in February to look at its impacts on electricity prices and energy markets, the manufacturing sector and Australian households. But Victoria Mackenzie McCarg from the Australian Conservation Council says the review is unnecessary. We have a renewable energy target that is working and it works properly when it's not kneecapped by uncertainty in the sector. We need the government to recommit to the renewable energy target as it is and then commit to a much stronger target in future for 2030 and for 2040. She says investment in the clean energy sector has dropped to its lowest level in over a decade. This review has unleashed uncertainty on the clean energy sector in Australia. We've definitely seen a number of co uh, companies pull up stumps from planned investments in Australia. Uh, for example, in the last quarter, there's only been about $40 million invested in large-scale renewable energy in Australia, uh, which is the lowest level since the first half of 2001. In a statement, the federal government says it has a legislative requirement to review the target this year. It says it's consulting with a broad range of stakeholders to ensure the scheme is working efficiently and effectively. But Andrew Richards says the review is taking too long and putting Australia's entire renewable energy sector at risk. We need the renewable energy target legislation review to be completed. We need the government to make effectively no changes to it. We think it's running pretty well at the moment. There has been a lot of talk about them reducing the target. Now, if they reduce the target, then projects like Cainton would not go ahead. If they reduce the target, less solar panels would be put on roofs, there'll be less innovation. That's Andrew Richards from Green Energy Company Pacific Hydro Endings.